Moin people, welcome back to the Nerd Crate. Welcome to Beat em Up Week. It's the first one in a small row. We're not gonna blast out every day, but there are only Beat em Up videos coming this week. And we started off today with Storm Collectibles, Injustice, Gods Among Us, Doomsday. So welcome back people. I hope you were looking forward to this after my little announcement and um, I was looking forward to this dude ever since I saw him and then uh, Comics and Cocktails in the UK, shout out to you guys, great shop, check him out. Um, had them in store and it was a no-brainer. He's, he's a bit pricier, you know, you see, he's a big boy. He's a really big boy. He's bigger than uh, Goro and he's also bigger, bigger than Sigat. Um, such poses are a little hard to handle, but um, not worse than on the other ones, so um, I'm fine with that. Um, for you guys that don't know this character, this one is also called the Ultimate. It's the guy that was specifically created for the purpose of killing Superman by DC Comics. In the universe, he was specifically created to become the Ultimate life form. He was just a small baby that was thrown out into the harsh environments of prehistoric Krypton millions of times until he skipped evolution. And every time this character dies, he, yeah, he surpasses the kind of death that approached him. So beaten down by Superman, can't happen anymore. Been blasted to bits by an energy being, can't happen anymore. So this guy is extremely resilient and essentially stronger than Hulk, but we will never, maybe never see that. So with all of that out of the way, also for some info bits, that's been a long time coming. Let's check them out. So Doomsday does it the same as all Storm Collectibles figures. We got a nice little wraparound art that goes around and partially varnishing on the Justice Gods Among Us Doomsday and the Storm Collectibles. Rotated to the left, nothing besides the logo on the left. Simple and action shots with a small bio licensing. Little profile or the same shot than here. On the side here with partially varnishing, that's nice. On the top, the window continues below licensing. And nothing on the inside beside a little inlay with some sparks, but um, better than nothing, I guess. Accessory wise, he comes not with much, but that's also due to the character and it fits. Um, we have four additional new hands, two tight gripping hands and two relaxed hands and um, they done it nicely. We have the bowing protrusions, everything is more soft. Um, we got the fingernails or claws. Everything is done with this nice gray color. A um, lot of shading on there so the usual high quality standard on Star Collectibles and the head. The exchangeable has him grinning pretty bad with bony protrusions and the kind of bone beard going all around with uh, the ponytail for the back. An exchange is as you thought, the usual rocket science. You pull it off and you put it on. Little tight fit, but due to the rubber, it all fits very well and works nicely. And of course, the same goes for the head. One is a little tighter, which is the original. The second one is a little looser, but works nonetheless. And here we got him, the ultimate, and he is glorious. I think he turned out specifically well. Um, head sculpt is amazing. Like this is this is doomsday to me, you know? This is, this is how he always should have looked also on, from other companies. I think this is a near perfect look. What I, what I miss on him is this big kind of bony backplate. They only give him this, but um, was especially weird, I gotta add, is these rubber thingies could have gone on here pretty easy, but it's not his model, so um, I'm good with that. But um, yeah, beautiful, a lot of shading, gray base on the rigid plastic and on the soft one with a lot of lighter and darker shading. Same goes for the bony protrusions here and on the shoulders. These you gotta be really careful about. These are hard, those are rigid 
plastic ones also on the arms. So if you want to exchange the hands, um, you could potentially, let me check up on that and show you. See, this is, if you grip too tightly, you could even pierce the skin, I believe. But um, yeah, the pants feature green in different shades with the belts going around here. And that also makes for some uh, ideas if you want to um, kind of recreate uh, this look here, where his protective suit from that one planet where he fought the Radiant, that energy being is all ripped up while fighting the Justice League against Superman. You can do that with some cloth and maybe I will actually do that. So uh, for styling, this goes all out, all down to the legs, to the feet. It's all done very thoroughly and he's looking he's looking mighty fine he's looking really mighty fine i really enjoy him sadly of course he's not uh six uh one six scale so he's not scaling with the with the hot toy superman may it be henry cavill or may it be christopher reeve but um he's a big boy and that's what i got the mcfarland toys for and i think he delivers in that department um for articulation this is where this guy delivers this is crazy. It's the usual Storm Collectibles um, method, but it's just working for different sizes of figures, which is crazy. We have this soft rubber bit on the top, which covers for a double ball joint from the chest area or upper abdomen into the neck, respectively into the head for a lot of up, for a lot of down, crazy range. So you can really have him going on like what are you doing here little boy also to the side so uh, he can really flex those muscles that's crazy we have a cover down piece on the shoulder giving him a wide butterfly shoulders come out to the side and then also usual it pops out but it also pops back in easily so you can do a lot of range with it which is crazy going all the way around not that you need it but you can do it bicep swivel no problem, double jointed elbow. Due to the bulk of the arms, they barely get 90 degrees, but I think it's better than giving them a single and then he's not even doing that. So it's okay to me. Ball joint on the hand, on the wrist, giving you the swivel all around and a little pivot on the hand. And like I said, the hands are soft rubber. So you get a little flexibility there to play with those tolerances, grab him, whatever. Um, we got a double ab crunch, one from the upper abdomen with the covered piece into the lower, which is rigid, and then from the lower into the hip, which is on another ball pack, um, which also sometimes goes for a little gap, but that's for what's this floating piece of the first part of the pants is for. Second part of the pants are then of course the legs, which are sculpted and painted on the legs which brings us to them full front full back both sides so split and to now nah, a little tight on the side could be a little tight on the side but you know doomsday and the split is the same as Arnold Schwarzenegger on the split and it goes for a John Cliff and them kind of character so uh Storm Collective with Johnny Cage you know I'm looking at you guys double jointed knee gets you a little over 90 degrees um, biceps will around that ball pack, of course, and uh, no additional, additional swivel on the knee, so that's all fine. And we have the newer ball on the foot, so you get a lot of down, a lot of up, and you can rock them side to side, working fine. And a toe tilt, which is big and crazy, so uh, a lot of possibility there. And you can you can do a lot with this guy, but before we get to that, some small facts. So he's a big and heavy boy, 566 grams, and the size mirrors that too. A uh, little bit over 10 inches, 25 uh, 0.7 centimeters. So posing wise, as you saw. There's a lot you can get this guy out of this guy. Um, you can always have him like really um, sizing up Superman for a punch, you know, going in for this and for this and just, you know, there's, 
I believe there's no real big flexible poses you want to do with that guy, but you can easily achieve it, just as you saw it. Same goes for running. This guy runs a lot when he charges, so we already had the arms pretty far for what they for what we need him. And then we just bring him out to the side and we play a little bit on the tolerances on the foot because we need them pivoted to the outside a little bit more. Uh, this one to the back. I didn't try it too hard on this guy. It's actually the first time, but I think, yeah, with a little bit of tolerance, that quite works. A um, little bit slanted, but um, with this bulk and everything, I think this is the best what you can do. But just for shits and giggles, because this version of Tuesday is out of a uh, beat em up game, let's just try real quick if he can do kind of my favorite, at least remotely. As he he's a little limited, a little limited, but he's also big and bulky. So let's bring this out and this out and we can actually, yeah, I believe it's possible. It's even possible to have him on one leg on the toe tail specifically. So no roundhouse, but uh, it's a little wonky. You need to be careful, but it's possible. <laughs> on Chichi. And since I still got this guy lying around here and because that's what I got him for, here we got him with the DC Multiverse Superman and I think that's a good scale. Whoopsie. Superman himself is not a small dude. I believe he's somewhere in the six foot four, six foot three, six foot one vicinity. Um, and I think that fits. Like Doomsday is just this hulking brute. But what's more important though, how does he fit with his Storm Collectibles brethren, specifically the bigger ones, Sigat and Goro. So here's my Storm Collectibles diorama. I try and get him positive, uh, really careful in there. Um, there he is next to Goro. So he's a good half head bigger. And here you got him next to my Sigat, the player two variant. And of course he's a little, you know, a little ace stanced due to the tiger pose, but um, this is about head level of Doomsday. So um, Segat would be half a head shorter. Um, he would fit better with, with Mortal Kombat, weirdly so, since Goro is a big guy too, way bigger than human. But um, Segat would actually be more realistic with him, like bulk wise. You decide, man. Final thoughts. So that was him, Injustice Gods Among Us Doomsday by Storm Collectibles. Real question that's left though, is he good? And the answer is yes, he's very good. There are a few things, only a few things that uh, bother me. Materials are great, sculpting is great, paint applications are great, engineering on these guys, I love it. And besides Raiden, to which will we come soon. Um, I don't think these guys can do much wrong, you know? I think the points stand for themselves. Um, the price is a little higher, so if you don't enjoy this character in particular, he's not for you. Um, 120 bucks. Um, the playability is high though, due to the engineering and everything, and um, otherwise real only the accessories, but what else can you do? Maybe a real gripping hand? like a little bit tighter, you know, for a Superman potential figure. That would have been nice, but that's only small, you know, with that clause, you can, you can grip the uh, multiverse one. I got pretty good, pretty good. Um, I need to hold him up, up high and then balance him with, a, with the edge of a cape on a little edge there on the, on the pants, but it works for a limited amount of time. But otherwise, still playability is uh, extremely high on this guy. Um, of course, a, a little bit limited in the articulation. I said articulation is good, and I mean that, but he's a bulky guy. So some stuff just is limited. But uh, I think overall, this gives you a fair impression of what this guy can do. And I'm happy I picked him up. I don't quite know currently what I would do with him. I think I would just put him to my 
uh, Hot Toy Superman together with the Multiverse one, but um, that's him, man. But one person is still missing. Hey, kid. What do you think of that dude? Hmm? Hmm? Oh. Good? Seems like that. Thank you. And she likes him. That's cool. Didn't have thought about that. Like, we had some gripes yesterday. We had some gripes yesterday. You know, there was there were some leftovers on the table and I was just out for a minute. And when I'm back, I find the leftovers on the floor. Not cool. So she had a rough evening. So uh, I wouldn't have thought she would pull through with it, but she did. So I hope you enjoyed this first part in my little week. And if you did, and if you do, Leave a like, sub, notification bell, and the sorts. I would appreciate it. And otherwise, I wish you a good week for now. Until we see each other again. Be good, be well. Bye-bye.